Yo, by shots? I I at least hit like two shots on you. Like honestly, if I hit two shots on another game player, I'm taking that. <laughs> That's not the gadget. I forgot about extra gadget. Oh my gosh. Holy moly, this guy has so much rank 30s, rank 35s. As Super Lab introduced me to my next 60k opponent, I was a little nervous for this match. This is not a duo, so. No gadget. Um, oh, actually, yes, gadget. And uh, no Hyper. Even though I'd lost a Piper with Super Lab, I thought I had a very good chance of Piper in this map. But even though it was 12.30 am, I was pretty sleepy, but I tried my best. It's kind of risky to play. As soon as we entered the match, I kind of felt a little intimidated by his rank 35s, but you know, I just needed to give it my all. Gave you all that I could give, but it wasn't enough. Oh, oh. Tried to show me how to live when I was not. Choice filled with regret till the night we were done. Oh man, and we're both e kind of equally matched. My Piper was completely dog right there. You know, me editing now, I completely disagree. We were not equally matched. This dude's the way he pitted at me with Piper. I went 1 8. Nope. Now it was time for Saint to choose a router, and he okay. chose Brock. Just to make sure. right. I know the AoE damage for Brock. So. You don't know what I'm talking about? Just look at his flame when you shoot his attack. I gotta use my jump board for you, right? But.
Cause I'm my own worst enemy Only if I let it be I can control anything If I can just think carefully I control my destiny Better than Smagify confirmed? Um... The 60k smoked me. More than the 80k. Because I feel like with Swagify, I like to have the chance to get the kill. And I like pressured him a lot. But meanwhile, the 60k was just applying a lot of pressure. Which, it, it really pays off. Because, you know, he, he plays duo. So, you get to apply pressure a lot. So, he really takes his skills from like duo showdown. And his dodging to like a 1v1 standpoint. And I think that's pretty good, in my opinion. So, that guy... Yeah, Saint's pretty good. Even though I lost, I did not feel discouraged one bit on losing. I actually thought I learned a bunch this time when we won in the 61k. But now we move on to my next opponent. Now my next opponent was one of Superlab's good friends or his coach actually for his arm wrestling. So I was pretty excited to actually 1v1 this guy. Yeah. Okay. Now out of respect due to the trophy difference, we let him go first to choose the brawler and he chose no one other than Colt. He also has Brock's titles, that's cool. There's a lot of sharpshooters. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go. Every single day, I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. Uh, to the system, I don't want to be a slave. I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway, and in the driveway is a nice range. Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain. You never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain. Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain anything you want, anything you need. Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief. Uh, they'll see with the negativity, but I just slide right by that. Slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man. I still go. Go, 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 Change. You could flip the gray matter like some batter in your brain. Uh, that's why I say, fake it till you make it, eh? And if you play that game, then you just might make a change. Rearrange all the bad to okay. Take the worst thoughts and turn them to a game. Take the best thoughts and put them on display. On repeat in your brain till you're feeling no more pain. Uh. Never slow yourself down, you can do some more. Push past start the pain and you'll find a door. Open it up and finally explore. Everything that you thought you could never do before. Especially since this is my weakest brawler I played. GG's Titan, GG's. Now at this point I was questioning my playstyle. Do I need to really work on Colt? I tried to redeem myself with Piper. So let's see how that went. Angelo, so. I want to see. I've seen interesting Angelo one v one. So. As you see I don't really play Angelo because I don't even know his build. Yeah that's a bad thing. I decided to go Angelo as well just because I want to work on my aim. You know I always get the first hit on Angelo what if you don't know. Draw this. It's for all the marbles. Just gotta land my first shot. All the roads we travel the journey of our lives Take another picture Before we say goodbye Arm in arm we're standing Standing side by side Memories fade but legends never die One last time let's live for something my blood, it's rushing, this ain't goodbye We'll be back someday And we will find our own way Take control of our fate And like a car with no brakes Crash and burn, make mistakes And we'll be back
fast. No, this energy's here to last. Not a glass half full of a flow that on. Gotta keep your eyes up on the prize. Only got one life, so it's worth a try. To find what makes you feel alive. That's the only way to live it right on. Uh. And now we're all doing our own thing. But I'll never forget our glory days. My mind is full of the memories, yeah. And I'll never forget what they meant to me. Don't worry, we'll be back one day to celebrate our glory. Now the thing is, Superlab gave me a question asking if this guy was really 30k or does he deserve to be higher? That's what I think. Because he's better than any rank random as a 30k player. Like, I would rather have this guy on my team than some, like, 29k Quando guy. Now, it was time for the reflection. Just asking myself how I did this match. Yep. You know, when I learned from that 1v1, um... He played, like you said, he played better than the average 30, 30k, which I actually liked because it actually gave me a challenge, you know. Um, he really focused on my weakest point brawlers um, with uh, Colts. So basically, like, basically what I've learned through this whole movie once is, like, I gotta work on my aim. Like, dang, that's something I need to work on a lot. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna have to end on a cliffhanger. We still have two more matches to go. But I just want to say part two is going to be insane. I'm going to leave you guys with that. Have a good day. Have a good night. Bye.